Hello and welcome. My name is Taylor Magnus from Sockeye Consulting. And in this video, we'll be talking about our banking cloud and the efficiencies it brings to our cash management function and reconciliations. Cash visibility is needed across organizations and functions. Traditionally, cash reconciliations have been a manual process in which we ensure we've matched all clear transactions to those we've already entered and that our cash balances are accurately represented both for internal review as well as external reporting. As organizations grow in scale, the amount of cash activity grows rapidly, at times exponentially. This, many times, leaves organizations with no choice but to bring on extra headcount simply to manage the cash side of the business and reporting. By utilizing Sage Intact's bank feeds, we can create a whole new level of efficiencies and visibility. Linking an account with Sage Intact is straightforward. We simply go to our bank account setup and come to our Banking Cloud tab here to connect each account to its prospective feed. Here's a list of popular banks, as well as a search function. If your bank is not on this list, there's a form to fill out and Sage Intact will actually reach out to your bank to see what connection options can be utilized. It's worth noting, only a short time ago, Sage Intact had approximately 5,000 connected banks. Within only a couple of years, we're now up to roughly 7,000. After the setup is completed, the feed will start syncing and pulling down transactions automatically every four hours. Let's look at how this will help us when performing the reconciliations. As I reconcile the account, I can see the bank is connected as a bank feed. From here, I can see the rules I've set up, both to match transactions already within the system, as well as create and book transactions not already in the system using the provided logic. In this example, I have seven rules to settle the book transactions to the bank. Rule one is a simple match between date, document number, and amount. As we come down, rule two is a many to one rule that will match many intact payments to a payment lump sum in the bank feed. Rule three is one to many that will look for one book item against multiple bank items. Now, as we come down, the last four rules are known as create rules which will show logic to create transactions on the books for recurring and automatic charges from the bank. Bank interest is a good example. Rather than spending time to record manual entries, these create rules can create and book those transactions automatically. This example, we're asking Sage Intact to find transactions with a description of bank interest. Now these are simple scenarios and you're not limited to the rules shown here. These rules can be created for any common or recurring transactions you identify in your banking activity. As we've reviewed, these bank feeds and the automation available ensures your book balance and bank balances tie throughout the month and can turn long reconciliation processes that can take hours down to a few minutes if we build out those rules correctly. To add to that, given we can now so easily ensure our cash position is accurate, executives and leadership can make decisions with a greater degree of confidence. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions over this feature or anything else having to do with Sage Intact, don't hesitate to reach out to our team here at Sockeye.